Now we are going to do another setup. This time we are going to use two colors of the acrylic, white and black, and we put them side by side next to each other, trying to achieve more artistic results. We are going to use one cup, and instead of having the rose water, we are going to use rose papers, real rose papers. So, the setup is very simple. We will use only one light, which will be a spotlight. And the nice thing about spotlight is that it will spread the light in a small circle and then light will fade away very fast. Let's try them. This picture is a perfect example for the power of still life photography. Why I'm saying that? Because the lighting in this picture is only one light, yet we are having a very nice and an artistic result. Let's have a look to the lighting setup and then explain the strength of the still life. So the setup is very simple. We have only one light, which is a spotlight directed directly above the cups, 180 degrees downwards. And when we are using a spotlight, this means that light will be in a small circle and it will not spread a lot. So that's it. The lighting setup is really very simple. If we go back to the picture to analyze it. So once again, still life is all about composition. And what makes this picture a successful one is the composition itself. There are different factors that make this picture very strong. First, we are using more than one acrylic color the white color and the black color. And by combining these two colors together, it gave the picture a strong effect. The second factor is the angle from which we are shooting the cup. We know that the cup is standing 50% on the black acrylic and 50% on the white acrylic. But the angle of the camera was taking the shot little bit towards the black acrylic. This means that the reflection of the cup will be on the black side and not the white side of the acrylic. This is very important because white acrylic does not reflect objects as strong as the black acrylic. Therefore, if we took the same picture from the other side, from the white side, we will lose the strong reflection at the bottom. The third powerful factor is the color of the roses, which is red. Since the overall picture is dark or even black, red and black have a very nice contrast, which usually gives pictures a very powerful look. So by using the red color for the roses, we gave this picture a very important boost. The fourth important factor is the type of light used, which is a spotlight. The spotlight is a hard light and it has two effects. The first effect is that it will only produce a small circle of light. And this is clear because we cannot see all the white acrylic, we only see part of it. This will give very nice drama to the picture. And the second importance of the hard light is that it will only focus on the edges of the cup. If we look to the top of the cup, we see that the circular part of the cup is very clear. But under the circle, until we reach the roses, the glass is almost not visible. Although we don't see the glass, but in our mind, we still see that there is a cup. So here there's a very nice drama. The cup is visually not existing, but our minds can see it. And this is the nice thing about still life photography. We were able to achieve this by using the hard light, which only focuses on the edges. So once again, still life photography is not about lighting, it's about the composition. Once you have a good composition, you need nice light to produce nice results. But the strength and the power is the composition itself. Again, if we shoot this cup from different angles, we will have different results as the pictures that we see in front of us.